always try sitting by the window since I had a long ride. Most days I listen to music, read, or be memorizing things for school. I believe it was in September or so of 2019 when I think I saw a vampire. I was sitting in my corner looking out the window, of course listening to my mini iPod that I received from LaGuardia Community College for my portfolio. Thank you. Anyways, there was this man standing on the opposite door the whole time. I noticed him. He was regular, wearing all black, and not so formal, regular New York style. Mostly noticed him because the window reflected to that side of the train underground. Really didn't see his face though, as I don't like to be stared at myself. For the most part, he wasn't a big deal at all. I'm pretty sure I was looking at people's shoes the whole time and shuffling my music. Until the doors opened in City Hall, people had to get out, so he had to move. Hold on to the pole and face the other way I was facing. Notice this because I was facing out the window, which reflected to the side of the train underground. Again, there wasn't much action as this is usual human behavior. But then every second came to count once he became relevant, as I faced out the window and the train was a couple of seconds before stopping in Corden Street. I suddenly felt a pressure in the left side of my neck. A pulsation in my heart began beating faster. I didn't realize what I actually was feeling until I had my hand up on my neck, feeling my vein pulsating. In this seconds, I looked out the window to look at the reflection of this man looking straight at me, not into the reflection, but at me sitting. The train arrived at the station, making him disappear in the reflection. Me still concerned, questioning what's going on. I I turned and locked eyes with this pale, tall, all in black built man. It was here, yes. I can still feel that voice inside my head say, You feel me? And seeing his face move in slow motion backwards. It felt like I was there for at least a good minute and plus. He then turned around and walked off into Corlin Street stop. This is where the Oculus is. He was all in black with a long coat and a scarf. As I see him walk off with my hand on my neck and with a small pressure, I turn to look out the window which reflected to where he was standing just to go over each second that had just happened and memorized it. D and or so I think